today we're bringing you the perfect couples boat, fantastic option for the Great Loop. Outback 50. Let's go check it out. All right, are you ready? Ready. Look at those windows. Wow. It is amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait to show it to you. It's got a lot of really cool, unique features. What an let's, interesting design. Let's get in the shade. Yeah. All right, let's get in the shade. Welcome aboard to this very large cockpit where we're going to start. Wow, that is. Unique, That's unique. Right? It's different. Yeah, you don't very see it in too many boats. Very different. It's almost laid out a little bit like a lobster boat in terms of like having this large cockpit, right? Yeah. But it has the styling of a modern yacht. So I like how they did that. The team behind this brand is comprised of people who have been in the industry for a long time. They saw a gap in the market. They felt like they wanted to build something that was not there, that was just, there was an opportunity. And they jumped on it and they've built something different, something that's very stable, very easy to operate, single-handed, all with two people. Fantastic option maybe also for all the crew, you know, where everything is super close and very easy. You don't need to run around and jump a whole bunch of stairs. So they did a really cool job. Let's show you around. Yeah, let's start as we always do on the swim platform. This is also unique. Very cool, actually. Short swim platform all the way aft. But this it doesn't like really matter because it continues on right away into the cockpit. Yeah, I mean, so, this whole thing is like a beach club. So these rails can be moved to wherever you want them. You can have them, take them completely away. You don't yep. need to have the rails at all. Or you can move this rail up here on top or up there. Well, anywhere actually, look, either there, there. Correct. So you can actually close this. Wow, now the breeze picked up. The breeze nice. picked up, yeah. And these little ones, the gates they actually can turn 90 degrees so you, and then close this up. You can create a completely closed up transom. You can even put like a little, um, what do you call those things on? Sleeves onto these rails. If you have pets. Pets, kids, it just makes it for like a nice and safe um, transom. True, true. So then we have a floor hatch here. I don't know what is underneath there. I'm just going to open it up. So that's uh, just an aft access to the whole area. Then we have... Now wait, 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 wait. We got pop-up cleats right there, and we have big, big cleats here, actually. They're, they're a little oversized, what do you think? No, I think they're perfect, especially if you're gonna pull the stern in, it would be great to have this nice, strong cleats going from both sides. So we have a shore power hookup on the starboard side, right there, and then here on the port side, we have a quick connect water and a transom shower. Perfect. And as we're moving forward, they split the seating areas and made it just like a nice sort of a cocktail lounge, you know, that you can still put some drinks, some food here, but it's not a full-blown dining. But I'm sure if you're building this yacht and you wanted to have like a proper alfresco dining option, you could also accommodate that because you could do some foldable tables. Oh yeah, 100%. It would be very, very cool But as well. the way the, um, the boat is designed and it's laid out with two staterooms only, you don't really need more than what you have here already because you already have right now dining for eight Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, unless you're like heavily entertaining. Yeah, yes. I, I would say no. Very so, cool. Next, where do we go next? Next, um, forward? forward. There's a lot here we can show you, but we'll do that when we come back. First, let's go to the bow. Okay, cool. Which side you want to go oh, on? You know what? I just see there's storage underneath these benches, actually. Yeah, I see it too from here. Yep, storage for lines or fenders, whatever you want to throw in there. Fantastic. All right, shall we go forward? Yes. Okay. Let's go on this side. Oh, this feels nice here. You guys, it's again 100 degrees with 100% humidity here in Florida. I'm kind of excited for the fall to, uh, <laughs> to come. I like it and enjoy it if we are out there cruising, but if we are touring, it's very hot. Well, we have talked to a bunch of people which have lived in Florida for many, many years, and they have definitely confirmed that this year is a specially hot year. Super, super hot. Yeah. Look at this window. And look at the position of the engine room vents. They are on the inside, well protected, behind the bulwarks, so not on the outside where 
you know, big waves or if you're ever in trouble could actually get you in bigger trouble and uh, flood your engine room. Yeah, so this yacht has been in some serious seas and handles really well. It doesn't have stabilizers, doesn't have a gyro, but the way it's designed, we'll show it to you in the interior. With the center, low center of gravity, it is doing really, really well in any conditions. Well, also, if you look at the superstructure, it is a little bit more on the narrow side. We have this wider walkways. Wide. It's a, for a 50 footer, it's actually very, very convenient and very comfortable. Hence, a more stable boat, less weight on the superstructure being wide, it's being narrower. Center of gravity is very low. Let's talk about this. What is this? This is stainless steel. Oh, they're all put into the stainless so steel frames. So it's not just glued in. And so there's a chance if you've got some real crazy weather and you're, you know, you're bouncing on the waves that this could pop out, which we, we know happens on yes. some yachts. This will not happen here. Yeah, sitting in stainless steel frames, yeah. Pretty cool, they thought about it. All right, as we're going forward, look at yes, these. As we're going forward, we have diesel fills here also on the inboard side, water fill here. Check this out. Yeah, for your spring lines. Fantastic, wow, I love this. I like how the hull flares out here. The they did a walks. really good job here. Check this out, you got a chafing protection yeah. coming in. All right, go very wide, very, very safe. Definitely feels like a much bigger than 50 footer. Oh yeah, that is a big foredeck. And I like how they sort of left it open, left it to your imagination. Yeah. So you really could put a couple of chairs here. You could put some bean bags. I mean, it's just a nice I think, open I space. I think I would just get some like bean bag furniture or something instead of having this typical layout cushion, to be honest. Agreed, like two bean bag chairs there. Yeah. How cool would that be? Yeah. You would use it all the time. If you, if you wanted to, I'm pretty sure you could add a bow shade. Yes, coming forward. Interesting setup. So we got the windlass and the anchor set up all the way forward, like actually almost extending. I mean, it is extending over the bow. Very cool. We got the remote switches right here on top and then the access to the anchor locker right underneath here. Oh, wow. Got the chain and the road in there for the anchor locker. And then we have here, a uh, fresh water wash oh, down. Very convenient. This is cool, hose coil. Huh. That is cool. Can we be yelling it or what? Uh, maybe. Huh. It's kind of convenient. It is. Got another shore power inlet here. If it's more convenient to plug into the bow actually because your shore power might be closer to the bow then you can just plug in right here. Right there. All right, I'll give you guys a little perspective. How nice is that? You know what is another cool thing is about this bow? Sit on the side there. Do you see how I just obey? I don't even ask why. Is that nice? Very comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you don't the need a bench. You don't need, and that, that is your bench. If yeah. you want to put a cushion under and done. Or just put a towel while you're hanging out here and take Very it away cool. with you. Super Very clean, cool. clean lines. There's a huge hatch to our owner suite here. Yeah. And then we also have this whole window here opens and that, we'll show you guys in the interior. That is amazing. Big one. I absolutely love All right, that. Let's go check out the flybridge. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. We're going up to the flybridge. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of the ladders, but in this case, this serves a purpose. So let us show you the flybridge first, and then we'll show you what's the deal with that, because it is very unique. Yes, I said very unique. Very. Ready? Yes. Going up. Good thing you're not wearing a skirt today. Welcome to our flybridge. Again, there are options of how you can lay this out and there's a few different things you can do. If you wanted to have your hardtop flybridge, you can totally do that. It's not a problem at all. You can do a beanie top here. Yep. The reason they chose not to is because they love to entertain in the evening. They love to cruise in a coastal. So they just love this being underneath the stars. So they opt out of it. It's how they use it. So this aft deck could be your tender deck. There is an optional spot for a tender lift or a crane, which would go right where the square is there. Mm -hmm. And then you could have, yeah, you could have your tender up here if you wanted to. If not, you can also have it down below. Oh, you can put on the, the tender deck. on the aft deck. You could, yes. Oh, like in between? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. interesting. So then we have the mast in the center of the flybridge. And as you guys probably can already guess, yes, it is foldable. It is a folding mast, which would make it for a really great looper, 
Great Loop Cruiser. If you don't know what Great Loop is, Google it right now and then come back to the video and let us know if you would want to do that. So as I said, as it is foldable, there is a receptacle right here where a bracket goes in, where then the mast pole would actually rest on. So it will go aft this way. You pull this pin out, there's a pin right here. Yep. And then you'll rest it. That gets you a bridge clearance of about 15 feet. You can go anywhere in the Great Loop. Even if you're not planning to cruise the Great Loop, what an amazing option for places like Intercoastal. You don't have to wait for the bridge. Most of the bridges, you can just go. It is amazing. Yeah. So if you want to cruise, let's say, all the way up to New York or something, this, this is great. So, so in this case here, the flybridge aft is just an open slate. You can have some deck chairs there, some lounge chairs, whatever you want to put up here. Or maybe just put a big layout cushion here. Another thing we haven't mentioned is this boat has a three foot draft. That's it? Three feet. Wow. That's insane. You can yeah. go anywhere. Perfect I mean, Bahamas boat. In the Bahamas, you can pretty much, like a catamaran, just go all the way up to the beach. The way the hull is designed, the prop's sitting fairly close to the hull, and we have a center keel, so the running gear is protected uh, on the way. It's an incredible draft for a 50-foot yacht. Yeah, it is incredible. So seating for six? Eight? Eight. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. We've got yeah. two chairs here, so yeah, you can definitely cruise up with a bunch of people here. And what do we have at the helm? So first of all, we have two storage compartments on the starboard and port side. Let me open one. There's some suction cup holders here. Oh, just regular storage. Okay, so you can throw in your covers for the elect from the electronics and so on. We have high voltage outlets here, if you ever need to for some reason. VHF radio, Volvo Penter engine monitors here, the start and stop buttons. We have the winch and horn switch here. Big chart plotter, compass, zip brake control panel here for your interceptors as well as for stabilization reasons. Then we have the fire suppression system, side power, bow and stern thruster control, indicator lights for the bilge pumps as well as the alarms for the bilge pumps and the shift and throttle control. And then over here we have a light switch for the courtesy light. Okay. All right. Do we have storage underneath this or no? Yes. There you go. Yeah, look at this. <gasps> this is amazing. All the covers. Oh, that's great. I think it's time to check out the air conditioned space. But before that, remember that ladder I told you about? Yes. Let's show that first. Yes. All right, you guys ready for this? Ready. So, a few things. This is definitely a unique feature of this yacht. This ladder is foldable. It folds all the way up here. I'm going to have Rico demonstrate. The reason being is you can open all of this up, so you kind of need space here, and you can also get to your engine compartment, which is hydraulic access, and as always, we'll show it to you at the end of the tour, but meanwhile, all right. let's demonstrate the ladder. Okay, so first I thought like, oh my god, getting this ladder is going to be super heavy, but no, there's a shock actually assisting me, so it's, I honestly pretty much need to stop it from going up. So you just put it up, put it in place, release the locks. Oh, even I can do it. And that's it. I can totally Letters do this. Up, out of the way. You probably forget you have a flybridge. Which so, is interesting. Oh, why don't you just keep going? Okay, while then you're I'll at keep it. going. Okay. So you can open this door. Uh huh. Unlock here. Unlock here. Open it completely. It's got a little um, thing here. You can actually secure it so you don't worry about it. Then we open this here and you have also this little thing to secure it. And now it is all open. Okay, now I can demonstrate. Oh, now you can demonstrate. Yes. Okay. Ta -da! I mean, this is incredible. I love it. How yes. cool is this? Speaking of an open concept, huh? Completely open. Now you're totally socializing with everybody here. Again, this reminds me a bit of that lobster boat layout, yeah. you know, that is just so many people love. You open the forward window, you've got this really amazing breeze coming through. How fantastic. Very cool. Wow. All right, let's close it back up so we can do the interior tour. It is, the AC is blasting it here, so we're gonna be kind to it and we're not gonna waste it. So we'll close it up so we can enjoy. There we go. All 
All righty, let's show you the interior. Yes. Come on in. Oh, it feels nice and air conditioned. Yes. I could see how awesome this is in a little bit of a cooler climate in the winter in California and up north, like New York, Martha's Vineyard area. But right now in Florida, we really appreciate the AC. Oh yeah, you, you need the AC for sure. It's really nice in here. Okay. Well, let's walk us through well, we the- we still have a beautiful view. Beautiful view, look at the windows. The windows, I think that what really jumps out. And I'm sitting down right now. All right, they're sitting down and I can still see everything on the water, whatever is happening. It's so nicely done. I mean, heck, I can do the whole tour sitting here. No? <laughs> All right. Get up. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, it's not a large galley, so I think this tour is gonna go relatively quick. Okay, so we have a large sink here. We have a bit of storage, um, kind of a narrow here, but it works. A bit of storage underneath this sink. There's a trash can. We have a three burner cooktop. We have some upper storage right here. Then we have a, a microwave, right? Yep, like the microwave. And we have a little drawer here. And then on this side, we have a bit of storage here and then a pretty large Fridge, freezer, you know, you can use them either way. They could be fridge or freezer. Yeah, you can you set them the way you want them. You can tell this boat is getting used for day cruising because all they've got here is booze. And then a little bit of upper storage up here. Nice countertops, looks yep. really nice and bright. I mean, I think if I would choose for a liveaboard, I would add a few things. You know, I would do, you know, guys, you know, I would, I would order a small little dishwasher, try to figure out a spot for it, and maybe mm -hmm. a, a proper oven or like a microwave oven that you could do a combo and probably would add a hood. I think there would be a few things extraction, on my list. Extraction fan. Yeah, extraction yeah. fan. But if you're gonna use it as entertainment platform, you don't really need it. Mm -hmm. So since this is a bit of a semi-custom of how you can order this interior, I think it's pretty nice that you can just decide. If you don't need it, you know, you're not gonna be cooking, you don't need it. So we got the two hatches actually. This is just access to the tank. And then this one here. Let's put you to work. Is actually, oh, well, opens really easy. Whoa, Whoa, look at this. So that's where it comes in. The boat was designed. You can go all the way down there. The boat was designed for, for a couple, maybe with uh, two guests, mm -hmm. you know, instead of trying to have five staterooms in a 50 footer. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but this gives you obviously stuff like this here. Big, big bilge areas for storage. Accessibility is amazing. Everything is finished. Battery boxes are right there. We have the fuel tank right here. This is pretty much where the center of gravity is on this vessel, which is right here in the galley. So the fuel tanks are right underneath here, and this is where the center of gravity is of the boat, so it makes the boat very, very comfortable. Besides all the stuff we already talked about on the exterior, having a narrow superstructure, no hard top. It's a very, 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 very stable vessel. Without having fins and gyro stabilizers, it is a very stable vessel. Correct. Yes. Okay, let's uh, talk about the saloon. Saloon? Saloon. The Where salon. Where do you come from? The salon. Okay, fine. We can say saloon. Some people will be happy with that. So, we have a sitting area here easily for four or five. You can pull these chairs up here and actually have dinner with six. They did a convertible table here, so they have a high-low, and then of course these open up to uh, have a nice beautiful dining. Beautiful table. Mm -hmm. And I see there is a TV that pops up from right there. Right here. So Yeah, you can actually sit here oh, and yeah. watch, um, watch TV. To I told you, I could do this whole tour from this chair here. And you can have this whole view from here. I mean, it is just fantastic. If we open it all up, you do feel like you have that like interior exterior fusion of yeah. the yacht, which is I think a lot of people are looking for. For sure. Oh, I found an ice maker. I was wondering, they've got all that booze, but no ice. So hey. <laughs> nope, plenty of ice there. It's a dedicated ice maker. So that's pretty cool. And check that out. There is a huge openable hatch that's going forward. Openable is that, window. Is it a porthole window or hatch? No, it's a window. You would call it a window, huh? Yeah, I'd call that a window. It's not a porthole. And that opens up 90 degrees. It's fantastic. Yeah. You would have such an amazing cross breeze coming through here most of the time. At Anchorage, you've got the wind coming at you, and you open all that up. Oh, 
just yeah. the beauty. If, you, if it's not summer in Florida, you don't need to run the AC. I could just see myself here in the Bahamas with this all open, it's, and you have it. Oh, okay. Let's let's Agreed. do this. Slow down. Slow you down. have a sliding window on your port side, and you have a door behind you. I have a door behind me, a sliding door actually. Let's open this up. Very wow. easy and convenient, and we're back on the side deck. You can easily single handle this boat. You have proportional bow and stern thrusters, so easy pushing it over to this. I mean, I wouldn't, obviously. I would like to have you Why next to me. Why would you single hand this boat? What but are you, you going to do to me? You throw me overboard? But you could, no, but you know, when you, you added a video, for example, and I'm getting the boat ready. You have to go to the fuel dock or so, and you know. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, you yeah. get away with that. Whew. Yeah, Dodge the bullet. It was close. Uh, <laughs> um, right <laughs> below you is the breaker panel, the main breaker panel, high voltage and low voltage, including the uh, battery charger switches, the, you've got the holding tank indicator there, and then of course your selector switch for the AC power between ship and shore, all straightforward. I do love that they set it up that you could cruise together, like this becomes your bench, right? Mm -hmm. so even if you're just a couple and you want to sit together, you have that spot just for the captain, but you also could just sit and hang out here. You're super close to the helm. Most of the time, if you're cruising offshore, you're just on a lookout and Very you don't true. need to sit in front of the helm. So it's pretty cool uh, to be able to hang out together. And what's this? Oh. Do you guys oh. feel like we're super excited because we're jumping all over the place? <laughs> what is that? Is Storage. It, you think? Yeah. Wait, I gotta investigate. Oh, oh I see. Just ah. opens up from ah. here. Oh yeah, it's great. That's basically your glove compartment. It is, it is. Um, just turning back over here, these footrests you can flip up if you don't want it down like this. Oh, that's great. And then, of course, this bench seat here, you can you can fold down uh, if you want to sit on it and just not lean, lean against it. And what's it. that called? Um, a bolster seat. Bolster. Bol bolster. Bolster. I, I'll call it, a, it's a booster. Yeah. <laughs> This is a booster seat from now on, <laughs> moving forward. All right. Renamed. Um, helm wheel right here. Got the Volvo shift and throttle controls right here. This boat is designed with straight shafts. We're going to see that in the moment in the engine room. Generator control, bounce turn thruster control. We get zip wake interceptors all the way on the transom to trim the boat and to help with stabilization. VHF radio. We have battery switches here. Very interesting to have them actually right at the helm. Pretty cool. Get the bilge pump alarm and bilge pump switches here. And then here we have the windshield wiper controls, horn switch and winch up and down, which is the anchor in this case. Ignition for the main engines, Garmin autopilot, Volvo Penta control panel, and then a big Garmin display. We got the water tank here and the water tank there. So two water tanks, port and starboard. And that's it. So what I find interesting, as we guys told you, that this yacht was designed by a team that was in the industry for a long time, sold many different boats and their time owned many different boats. So they've decided to build something that they thought didn't exist on the market. I think the helm reflects that. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, there's certain things on there that you don't normally see at your typical helm. Yeah, 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 very true. So it, it, it's, very, it's very straightforward, the systems seem very self-explanatory. Accessibility so far, what I have seen is incredible. So, more storage here, there's some oh. drawers. Oh, that's storage. And then I found more, I don't know if you noticed it, but all the way up here. Yeah, that's right. They did add storage everywhere they could. Can I just say, I'm really excited being on board of this yacht. Do you know why? Looking at the interior design. With the wood? Because the color the scheme is very similar to what we're doing on our boat. It is, it it's is. It's got that walnut color and the light whites, like that contrast. It is very, very similar. And I just love it every time I see it. And it makes me really happy and excited about our build. Yeah. If you guys are not watching our second channel dedicated to our yacht build, I'll put in the description of the video. Check out Naughty Guys, just in case you're new, and check out what the heck we are building. Yes. All right, back to storage. Yeah. Uh, can you open this one? Me? Sure. Okay. Just push on the one side, and it comes up automatically. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. Are you going in? No, you're going in. I'm going in? Yep. Fine. <laughs> Looks nice and cozy in there. You don't have to ask me twice. All right, let's do it. Okay, what do we have down there? Okay, 
So this is our utility space. And if you are ordering this yacht, you can put a washer and dryer here. You can put a deep freezer here. I mean, technically anything. This could be your overflow provision space. I mean, you could design it sort of any way you want. But hey, it's a pretty big space. I mean, so kind of gives you perspective. Yeah. Your favorite word. Storage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, this could be washer and dryer separate units right here. Yeah. And you can have a deep freezer right here in this space just behind, you know, like a smaller one, yep. can definitely get that done. Yeah, very cool. Love it. So far, all the heavy and loud machinery is not within the interior of the no, space. No, it's all aft. Which is pretty great, which means this will be a, a very quiet boat underway. Correct. All right, let's check out the staterooms. Let's do it. Okay. So just to mention, this is- What about is the handrail? What about it? It's, it's pretty cool nice. how they created this cavity to mount the handrail in there. So it just slightly sticks out, but not interferes a lot into the companion way. Yeah, come on down. So I just want to mention this is a 2-1 layout, but you can order this yet in a 2-2 layout. This was a choice of the owner who ordered this vessel to have it this way, but you can definitely do a 2-2 if that's important to you and want to make sure that everybody has a separate head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we're going to go to the port. port. And we have a, a nice double cabin here. This is impeding the headroom a little bit, but with all this very tall space here, yeah. I mean, it's pretty great. And then here you just sleep. So I so think it's perfectly it, it, it fine. Drops, it drops down a little bit, but you also step I mean, down. I can sit here. Look, if I don't wear a hat, I can actually sit here. And, and essentially, what do you really do there? You sleep there. Well, I don't know. But even if you want to I sit there, you can still sit doing. here. <laughs> yes. No, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, we have fixed portholes here, mm -hmm. but it looks like you can attach like a privacy yes. shade there or something. Mm -hmm. We have a little nightstand here and then storage wise, let's check it out. We have a hanging locker, actually goes all oh, the way wow. in there. Yeah. See the line. Very nice. And then check this out actually. This is nice. So they have all of this drawer storage and a bit of an exposed storage. If you really wanted to, you can build this up. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go cruising, let's say with a kid or something, yeah. and want to give them a little more storage space, you can. And then there's another openable porthole. Oh, I like that. Uh, which is actually on the inside. So you see the boo box right there. So definitely well protected. And could create a little bit of cross breeze. Then we have our shared head. Come on in. Which oh, of wow. course can be used as a day head, that door there. Yeah. And we do have a door here that goes into our owner suite. Got it. That we can show you from the other side. We have a head. So all of these, look how many drawers. Having this head shared, right, gives mm -hmm. you a chance to actually have a bigger bathroom. So in Germany, we would say that it looks a little bit like an apotheca cabinet. <laughs> um, I don't know, in US, would it be pharmacy cabinet? Pharmacy cabinet, yeah, because okay, you've yeah. got so many different ones. Yeah. They left this open storage. Again, you could probably enclose it if you wanted to, but I know some people like that and it's, it's nice. And then we have our shower. You have an openable porthole there, openable porthole here. Oh, cool. So you could also open both of them up if you're showering here. You have a little bench, a proper space for your shampoos and everything. Nice one person shower, very comfortable. Still very good headroom here, feels very good. And then let's go check out. I like the floor. Why don't you go this way and I'll okay. meet you on the other side. Welcome to the owner suite. We have our queen size bed here. Yes, we do. Bunch of exposed shelves here. Very nice on both sides. Then on your side, let me go over there. We have our hanging locker. Looks like it's very big. Oh. Oh. Ah, Let's take okay. a second to make sure you're subscribed and hit that like button and so, write us a comment or three. Everybody, check if you subscribe to our channel. Actually, check if you subscribe to both of our channels, Naughty Styles and Naughty Guys. Please, if you're not getting notifications and not seeing our videos, unsubscribe, resubscribe and hit that bell. You guys know we don't charge anything for our tours, so the biggest help you can give us is hit that like button and write us a comment. And if you want to support us more, join us on the Patreon for a whole bunch of more exclusive content. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, hang on. Let me look in there. Huh. Oh, it goes deeper yeah, in there, Yeah, and it's actually. got shelves. That's cool. Yeah, agreed. So am I carrying it now for the rest of the tour? You're going to carry the rest of the tour. We have a big overhead hatch. 
Yes, very nice. Actually, if you open this up, you've got a good breeze coming into this cabin. Fabulous. We've got two openable portholes. And two fixed ones. Ah, that's why it's so nice and bright in here. Yes. Don't very. even need the lights. There's still a bunch of drawers. We've got like six drawers here. This hall actually has a floating bed, but they can put a drawer here as well. Got it. So the drawer here and this also could be a big drawer. You know what? Honestly, I don't really mind this. You could throw in like your back or something underneath, right? Oh, definitely. If it's open. I mean, if you're going to live on this, then I feel like you will need as much storage as you can yeah. to keep yourself organized. But if you are not going to live on this and you are going to use it on the weekends or just to cruise here and there, you don't really need it. All right, let's keep going. As always, it depends on how you use the boat. That's correct. Okay, are you ready to work? Yes. Let's put you to work and check out the engine compartment. Let's do it. And the generator compartment. Yes. I'm going to open this one first. Look at that accessibility. I mean, are you kidding me? This is incredible. Got the, the generator is running right now, right? Generator is running, of course, has a sound shield on. Um, but you have so much space in here still. I just see space for like storage there if needed, for tools, for things. It's huge. I don't even know what yes. the engine compartment looks like yet, but this seems very, very big. On both sides, look at that. Incredible. So much space, spare anchor in there, fire suppression system. Oh, I don't even see that. Where Got is the, that? Oh, there. Okay. There we go. Got the sea strainer here for the generator, so also very easy to access. And then there is the control for the generator as well, like the direct control, if you ever have to want it to start it down here. Okay. All right, close this back up, open the engine compartment. Let's do it. You can open it more? Is I think, that, is yeah, that I think you can open it more, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just stopped right now because I wanted to not waste more time. Here we Let go. me show you guys. Really interesting. Look how the engines are mounted. They're pretty much level. That is incredible. So we have the transmission right here, and then look at the angle of the shaft almost straight. I mean, a very slight, slight angle actually to the shaft. We got the dripless seals there. There we go. They got the generator, a little bit bulkhead here. Same here, easy accessibility. Even on the outboard side, you can just go through there. Same here, you would be able to go through there and have a lot of space still left there. Got the batteries out there, lots of space. Sea strainer for the Volvos. The through holes here, bilge pump down there. Battery switches, super, super clean. Got the battery charger right there. Very, very clean, super clean layout. Yeah, that's it. I like that you can uh, open the, the hatch completely, especially after you ran. If you have anything you need to address in the engine room, at least you can get the, the hot air out. It's really cool. Yeah. Alrighty, you guys, let us know what you thought about it in the comments. Hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and we see you in the next one. And if you're looking for some extra outtakes, join us on Patreon. Ciao. Today we're checking out a perfect couple's cruiser. Perfect, perfect doesn't work. This, this, what's it called? How do you say this?